guys. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Devotions with Emma and Sammy. So excited that you're here. Today, we are going to be talking about how the Bible is sometimes hard to understand. So we're going to talk a little bit more about why is it hard to understand and then what God does for us in that. Um, But first, we are going to go over to Emma for our main idea and verse. Yes, so our main idea is understanding the Bible, and our verse is from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. That's our verse. Over to you, Sammy. Yes, thanks, Emma. So, we are going to talk about things that are hard to understand. Hard to understand. So, I want you to think with me. Um, Think back to a class that you've taken lately. It could be a class that you took through JUCO, or it could be a class um, that you took in high school. But did you ever accidentally open a textbook that was not for your class that you're taking? So it was for like a harder class. And you opened it up and you're like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what this is even saying. What does that word even mean? Or have you ever picked up a book expecting it to be in English and you open it And it turns out it's in a language that you don't speak or read or understand. And it's like, I don't even know where to start. It doesn't make any sense. Sometimes that happens. And those are so hard to understand because we just don't know what we're reading. Um, Sometimes the Bible can feel like that. It can feel like it's hard to understand. There's big words. I don't know what I'm reading. There's weird names. Um, But what makes the Bible different than textbooks or books of a different language um, is that God is still working in the Bible. Even though it was written a long time ago um, by a bunch of different people, it's something that still applies to us today because God is still speaking to us through the Bible today. And you might say, hold on, I've never heard anyone talking through my Bible. I've never heard that, Um, which is a good point. But what's so cool is God uses the words on the page um, to say what he wants to say to you right then. So the Bible, reading the Bible is not something that's separate from God, um, but that's something we should ask God for help in doing. So when you open your Bible, you can say, God, what do you want me to understand in this today? What do you want to say to me today? And that might look like a word on the page stands out to you, or you read it and you're like, oh, that's so cool. I've never heard that before. And that is how God speaks to you. So that is what makes the Bible a little bit easier to understand. Um, So our question today is I want you to ask yourself, what's my favorite verse right now? What's my favorite verse right now? It could be a verse that you've learned at the program. I know you guys memorized Psalm 23, so it could be that one. It could be one that Emma just read. Um, But think about what your favorite verse is right now, and then think about how cool it is that God gave you that verse that he wants to talk to you through that verse and why is it so important to you so ask yourself that question right now and then come right back all right welcome back you guys thanks for taking the time to ask yourself that question that is our devotion today but before we wrap up we're going to go over to emma for our invitation So today is National Make Life Beautiful Day, which is a really great holiday to remind us to be grateful for the gifts around us that make life beautiful. Um, So today we want to invite you guys to take a walk, but while on your walk, we want you to be extra observant and pay close attention to the beautiful details in nature. So while you're on your walk, you can also participate in a color scavenger hunt that Sammy created. Um, Joan sent the scavenger hunt template out Um, via email on May 21st. So you can either find it in your emails or I will put it up on the next slide and you can take a screenshot of it or take a picture of it. Um, Have fun and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.